Hey guys, do you suffer from insomnia or constantly waking up unrested? If so, this is a video you won't want to miss because I'm going to be sharing my top five tips on how to get back to the sleeping beauty you once were and help you gain control of this very important aspect of life. Welcome to my channel. I'm Mel and I'm a registered holistic nutritionist. On this channel, I simplify nutrition and holistic wellness with a large focus on mental health. If you find my content useful, be sure to subscribe for more similar videos, give me a thumbs up, and let me know below what topics you'd love to see me create more videos on. So why is sleep so important? Put simply, it's the time that your body needs to regenerate after a long day, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And yes, the number of hours you should be sleeping each night is important. The average adult should be getting an undisturbed eight hours each night. Anything less will take away from your body's needs and sooner or later, you're gonna feel it. Here are my five tips to help you regain your healthy sleep habits. Number one, consult your doctor. If you've gone 14 days with crappy sleep to no sleep, it's time to see your doctor. Your MD will likely run blood labs to identify if there are underlying issues you may be unaware of or like imbalances such as with the thyroid or hormones. Number two, turn off all electronics three hours before bed. Electronics contain a blue light within them that alter your brain's capacity to produce melatonin. So melatonin is a sleep inducing hormone that naturally occurs within the pineal gland in our brain. So this includes laptops, televisions, tablets, digital clocks, all of that. So if you must be exposed to electronics within this time frame, then you should opt for blue light filtering glasses, which can be purchased anywhere. I'll provide a link for you within the description below. Number three, get to bed prior to 11 p.m. Studies have shown that going to bed after 11 p.m. actually generates a cortisol surge. You know when you get that second wind kind of feeling? You definitely want to avoid this. Number four, refrain from caffeine and alcohol prior to bedtime. So this includes coffee, tea, chocolate, and any alcohol. These beverages and foods can disrupt your sleep by waking you up throughout the night. It's definitely not worth it. Last but not least, number five, create a good sleep routine. This is so important. Don't just plop yourself in bed. Drink a calming herbal tea like a chamomile lavender tea prior to bedtime. Take some magnesium if your doctor approves. Read a book, listen to soothing music, maybe meditate, Whatever makes you feel calm and eventually sleepy, do it. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful and truly hope that these tips will help you get to the root of your sleep issues. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao for now.